Today guys, I give you the out of town stay in place box or the out of town shelter in place bin, whatever you want to call it. But that's what the video is today. And two things before I get into it. One, I just want to remind you guys there's a giveaway going on. Two weeks, I'm going to be giving away these. It's a 1980s MRE, beef slices and barbecue sauce. And then a chicken burrito bowl from 2020. So if you guys want to be entered to win those, all you got to do is like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and you'll be entered. And two, I also want to let you know, guys, I know there's way better ways of going about kits and, like, different designs and different things to use in kits. My kits are mostly focused on kind of budget kits. It's what you can afford and what you have and what most people can get a hold of pretty easily. So, yeah, not everyone's going to different websites and searching up stuff and caring that much. As long as you have something, you don't need name brand stuff to survive. But further ado, let's get into it. This is a good size bin, as you can see, pretty packed up. Let's get into it. Um, one more thing, actually, this kit is a kit, yes, alone, but the water you'll need to That'll be another thing. It'll be like jugs of water. I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of jugs of water in a tote. That can be stored in the back of a vehicle or something and come with you. And usually when you put into a shelter in place, the water's still on and still clean at the time. So you can have time to fill trash bags and trash cans and water or bath tubs. I said water tubs and everything else in between. And if you know what you're doing and you want to survive, that's what you'll do. And yeah, let's get into it. So this kit's basically meant for about three to five days, um, one to two people, but it can last longer if you ration and you know what you're doing. Right on top, you know, the AM FM radio. It's a good size, it's got a good speaker. It takes double A batteries and you can also plug it in. So you can still have power. There's gonna be a way I can set all this stuff out where you guys can see it and have the bin out. Um, here is my bag of wires. It has all of my phone chargers, charge my devices, and yeah. And then also the charge, uh, this uh, ham radio, handheld ham radio from Biofang. And then I also got a, an extended antenna so I can get a better signal. The one's not doing good. And there's the bag of wires. And I got my flashlight. It's a pretty nice coast flashlight I got it from Walmart. It's just pretty basic, takes double A's, really bright. I haven't had to replace the batteries yet. And I got five things of uh, oatmeal here. Some maple and brown sugar, best flavor. And I got my Gerber multi-tool. Never know if you need to fix something or tear something apart. So it's good to have a tool instead of just smashing something to bits. We got double A's for the uh, radio and the flashlight. Mostly for the flashlight because I can convert that ham radio into an AM FM so I can hear everything that's going on there too. Next we have four handheld flares. These are both flares. But they all work the same. That's our signaling if you need to get rescued. Or defense, I guess. You need to fend something off like a bear. We got, I believe it's like four pairs of uh, latex gloves. Next, we have an array. Actually, no. We won't go there yet. We have three uh, emergency blankets, mylar blankets. Five packs of hand warmers, all 10 hours each. Next we have our boiling pot and our little stove in there. Most of our food is going to be eaten cold, but this is just a, when you need a warm meal or you were able to cook where you are. That's just an option to have. Plus you can always get bigger tanks like the, I believe it's like two of these tanks together on top of each other. That's always good to have. 
like a free bag of uh, instant noodles, or not instant noodles, uh, boiled in bag rice. We have a small crowbar. Again, you never know if you need to take something apart, break out of something, break into something. Then we have our Mora Gerber with a sharpening stone and a ferrocerium rod on it. Mostly for defense, honestly. We have a 55 gallon black trash bag. It's a contractor bag, so it's super thick. Your know, window gets busted out by a tree or something. If it's like a weather thing, or if it just gets busted out by a rock, or anything like that, you can patch it up, or if you don't want someone to see it in. It's another way. Got two packs of graham crackers. It's a little busted up, but all the same. You got our little Be Smart Get Prepares uh, first aid kit. Has a little bit of everything. pack of combat wipes. These are really good, really thick. They don't smell too terrible. Most of them smell like chemicals. Then we have a completely filled thing of peanut butter powder. This is for your protein, so you have a good amount of protein to go off of. And we got some honey. It's also something you can add into the ramen, as you can see here, or the rice meals, or the oatmeal. We have four bags right you see that one on there then we have this little solar panel you can just put up against the window and it'll charge your uh devices or the way i have it set up it will charge my, or my battery banks and so i have three battery banks and i can just charge these up and just have a good amount of power throughout the night and not just have to charge my phone off this so that'll be nice. And plus these will be pre-charged so you'll already have a charge and then the base off of if you need your devices or whatever device you do need. Next we have my eating utensil because we're surviving. We're not animals though. We're still human. It's a cool thing about Amazon. I'll leave the link in down in the description. It's like the Tappers uh, backpacking spoon. It's super long, so you can get into the dehydrated meals pretty easy. And you break it apart, you got a knife, nice knife. And then you got a little ferrocerium rod, so if you need to start your uh, stove and you don't have a lighter, it comes in handy really, really often. I know a lot of backpackers don't smoke, so they don't have a reason to have a lighter on them. Not everyone remembers their uh, spark or whatever they call them. Shut that in the room. And then it comes in this new little bag. Kind of looks like the bag you get your uh, tent steaks with. Just tidy back up. Yeah. One thing I hate about it is plastic, so can't really cook, cook with it. Next, we have a, a fire extinguisher. Because you never know what's going to happen. You got your cooking inside, and this is best to have one. Plus, that's another way of defense. You can just blast something in the face with that. Here's your lighter for the stove and then a little bit of duct tape around it. Here, we have just an array of tapes. Just again, sealing up the place or uh, getting something over the windows to hide what's going on there or hide the light. Um, it just matters the situation. But it's just good to have tape, so. We have three nine hour emergency candles i guess what's supposed to be in here but i misplaced it but yeah this goes with this it's the uco lantern pull that thing up candle will be in there it has a spring that just keeps pushing it up and it's pretty good it saved my butt in the winter when the power went out and like 12 hours without power i just had one of these and i sat by it and had Good amount of heat coming off of it. And I believe I had like three more cans, pop cans that I cut open and made heaters out of them as well. Down here, we got ourselves a little can opener. Just in case you have like you come across food, there's food in the place you're at, you have a way of opening it, you know, if the power's out or something. Got a little signal mirror. 
So if you can't go outside, but you can signal to others around you or authorities are driving by or search parties or whatnot. And we got a good amount of ramen noodles, one can of tuna. And we got some gourmet burger seasoning, which is, I just like having something to season my food with. I'm like bland. And seasoning, you know, if it burns my throat, it's good for me. Well, yeah, that's pretty much everything that is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What you guys would do differently, because just because I said what at the beginning, I just don't want you guys talking down, but I do want to hear you guys' point of view, because that's what it's all about. You know, the more you know, the better. Knowledge is power. But you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the flip side.